As I'm reading that story, Ben, I'm, I'm trying to look at my my calendar to see what time of year. This is crazy, but I guess it happens, huh? Yeah. Oh, we certainly see spring snows in the Midwest, and, you know, this is definitely severe weather season for the south and eastern part of the states as well, so this is not that unusual, but just the fact that winter seems to be just clinging on uh, to some states is pretty remarkable. Yeah. yeah. Here, just wet. Yeah, it, it's wet. In fact, actually, uh, this is one of the wettest Aprils we've ever experienced in the Seattle area. To, right now, uh, not including today's rain, uh, it's we're fourth on the list for wettest April on record. We're about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters shy uh, from getting the record. And we're only halfway through the month. You can see it's a very wet middle part of the day through the Cavalero Mid High School up in Lake Stevens. I want to zoom in because we do have some heavier showers that are currently working their way just north of Salton, just north of the Highway 2 corridor, uh, east of Everett, so Monroe, uh, Lake Stevens, Granite Falls, you're seeing some pretty heavy showers right now. The rest of us, most of the rain has been actually pretty light. We've seen totals so far this morning that range from about a tenth of an inch to a third of an inch. Uh, the rain has been kind of on and off over the Seattle area, but it has been a bit on the gusty side side. You look at our Queen Anne Tower cam right now. It is doing a little shaking as a big low pressure system just lingers overhead. Right now, no rain being reported out at SeaTac, but temperatures have been cool. 46 degrees right now and a south southwest wind at 15 miles per hour. You can see pressure rapidly rising right now. You can see wind speed the strongest out along the coast. Hoquiam has a sustained wind of 28 miles per hour. Now we're not looking at any crazy wind, but it is going to be on the gusty side all the way through this afternoon and likely through Tuesday as well, especially areas through the Strait, who later this afternoon will likely see some pretty gusty wind move overhead. Here's a look at your 12 hour forecast for Seattle. We're likely going to stay in the 40s a good chunk of the day today uh, with rain chances in the forecast all the way through this evening. Now, once we head into tomorrow, we should start to see the rain showers, at least a chance diminish, and that should kick off a drier trend of weather, which will have us in the sunshine by the second half of the work week. But right now, again, that low pressure system is just hanging over western Washington. Uh, you you can kind of see the showers rotating counterclockwise around this low and eventually once we head into tomorrow that low will slide off to the east but still looking at some pretty gusty conditions. Uh, this forecast model is showing the widespread showers and adding on the wind speed as well. Uh, out along the coast could see a few gusts approaching 40 miles per hour but uh, over the interior the Puget Sound area a couple of gusts around 30 maybe up to 35 miles per hour. That's about it. Now more of the steadier showers will decrease overnight tonight. We should see uh, somewhat drier weather in the days to come. In the meantime, up in the mountains, we're still looking at some pretty decent snow. Snoqualmie Pass seeing some snowflakes. Traction tires advised there. Uh, the snow has covered up the Stevens Pass camera. And by the way, central and northern Cascades winter weather advisory all the way through 5 a.m. on Tuesday. An additional two to eight inches of snow, making some of us up in the mountains up to a foot of snow with the snow elevation around 3,000 feet. And around the Mount Rainier area, winter storm warning until midnight tonight. An additional six to ten inches there. So yes, snow happening not only in the Midwest, but also in the Cascades. Now showers will be fading on Tuesday, maybe a spotty shower or two Wednesday, but I think that's when we're going to dry out. Back in the mid 50s by Wednesday, here comes the sunshine Thursday and Friday, the brighter days of the week and temperatures back up in the lower 60s. Maybe a, hit, a quick hitting shower or two on Saturday, but then we dry out quickly by Sunday. So I know it's wet to start off the work week, but I think as we head into the middle part of the week and points beyond, I do think we're seeing a shift, and we might see drier weather in the days. Fingers crossed. We we could use a little sun. Yeah, I think at a lot point. of us could. All do right. It. Yeah. Thanks, Ben.